Thank you, Zach. Mountaineers have been keeping alive their own rendition of Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline, but after an 11 year hiatus, Pittsburgh will yet again hear our sweet chorus in the stands. And for those, for the sake of nostalgia, we met up with some of the legends who once helped take down our infamous rival. Reporter Stephanie Grinley has a taste of what excitement once was leading up to the return of the WVU versus Pitt backyard brawl. Tyler Young forces him. He's got a man down the sideline. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! Touchdown, West Virginia! Zach Abraham in the back So that was 28 years ago, correct? Do you still get that feeling? Oh, yeah. Every time you watch the video, you kind of get some of those feelings back. But I, I will tell you, at the time, you were just playing the game. And, a walk-on. Uh, Zach Abraham in his senior year. Fall of 94 was a rough season for the Mountaineers, but they played Missouri and won. WVU was 1-5 going into this game. They needed to beat Pitt on the Panthers' turf. Well, Coach Neal never liked Pitt, right? And we never liked Pitt either. It was a good rivalry game because he, was always, he always told the story of the lion and the well. And we were the mountaineer at the top of the well, and we had to keep hitting the, the panther, the lion, back into the well. Zach Abraham's receiving touchdown would pave the way for a 6-5 and five season. The rivalry spans over a century, and according to University of Pittsburgh Archives, the first ever backyard brawl took place right here in Wheeling in 1895. That was just the start of wins for WVU. In Morgantown, parties would reach their peak in 1975 with the longest postgame celebration on record. Walk-on Warwood native Bill McKenzie says running out of that tunnel with the gun sounding you just knew. It was like twice as loud. Four In a 14-14 game with four seconds remaining. Bill McKenzie is on. He is two for five in field goal. From the 28, it will be a 38-yard attempt. The snap. McKenzie kicks it. It is long enough. McKenzie kicks it. It is good. An Ohio County Commissioner, a mechanical engineer, well, West Virginia remembers them as something more. Coach Simrall, who was our quarterback coach that year, uh, said to me, Zach, you'll be remembered for the rest of your life for that, for that catch. And I'm like, well, Coach, what about all the other catches and touchdowns I had? And he said, doesn't matter. That's the one that they'll remember. And is it true? That is true, very true. There are thousands of people that have done great things in West Virginia and gone through there. When, when they mention your name, I mean, everybody kind of lights up. Mackenzie says it meant something to the players, but man, did it mean so much more to West Virginia. In Wheeling for 7 News, I'm Stephanie Grinley. Let's go Mountaineers. Thank you, Stephanie. Let's go indeed. Both of the WVU legends hope that the backyard brawl will stay for years to come.